Hi friends and family and everybody interested in seeing what I have to say. But I'm here to talk about my most recent life changes and experiences. Um, so today, just actually a couple hours ago, I quit my job. Sad pony. Hey. Yeah. Penny X. because I am burnt out, underpaid. I feel like there are major diversity and racism issues in institutions in Louisiana. And also I just feel like I'm having a midlife crisis from everything that I've been going through this summer and I just wanna change and rebrand my whole life. So this is the first recording that I'm making for these life changes. I know I look a mess, but I was at work when I submitted my two weeks notice and basically they canceled my email an hour later. So I ended up just packing all my stuff up and waiting for human resources or somebody to contact me. But this is just a reminder to know your worth because um, it's so easily that a job or people will make you feel like you need to keep a job. And, and I don't even have another job that I'm going to. So I'm definitely walking by faith and not by sight at this point because I know God got me and I know that the feelings that I have in my heart and, and the readiness I have right now is helping me to make these big life changes that you're gonna see. But back to my main point, these jobs will make you feel like you owe them something, you belong to them, they own you, all these things like that, but they will drop you in a dime so please make sure that you always remember your self-worth and that you've done everything to make sure you're in a good place because these jobs don't care about you these jobs do not care about you okay so follow me more or shall i say follow this life update and transitions that i'm gonna be having and I will see you guys. A week before it was time for me to move out of this building. Um, this is literally the rawest footage of like me taking everything out and really just like preparing to go through everything and declutter because I know like if you want to go places and if you want to move forward you can't take everything with you so I was like I'm ready to throw everything away honestly but it felt so good to really go through everything and really sort out the things that I needed and the things that I don't and really just get ready for this new era in my life. All right, y'all, so this is how it looked after three days of going through everything. I really did it. I got my apartment officially cleaned out and I cleaned it up. And I was determined to think about what was next for me. And I knew I was not staying here. I had been talking about moving to Los Angeles like all my life. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm moving. And so I packed up my car and I was like, let's go. So y'all saw how bad I was going through it, baby. I had to get my hair done before I got on this road and I still look a mess in this car. But mentally, I was like overwhelmed at the time. I was like, oh my God, I'm really driving 2,800 miles from Louisiana to California and moving my life. Like what? So boom, y'all, I made it. So when I got here, I was like, ah, I gotta go see everything. So I started taking tours, um, walking down Hollywood Boulevard and visiting some apartments because I needed to find a place to stay. I visited the Walt Disney Concert Hall and Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Here's some BTS of me at the LA Art Museum and I was too excited. And then I went to go see my friend who works for SAG-AFTRA and was actually on strike with them. 
Y'all, I didn't see any celebrities. Like, where were the celebrities? I thought I was gonna see somebody on my first date. Nobody. So then I ended up going to the Grove. And after the Grove, I visited the Santa Monica Pier. I was just going everywhere. I was trying to do everything. Next thing you know, it was the next day and I needed to go apartment hunting. So this is the first apartment that I checked out and the rent was like 26, I believe, $2,600. And um, it's in Koreatown. I just personally felt like the things that I were being shown wasn't worth $2,600. They didn't have a gym, they didn't have parking, they didn't have a lot of things. I mean, I did like the fact that they had a washer and dryer in unit and I did like the fact that there was a balcony, but not for 2600. Like what kind of views are you getting with this balcony? You might as well not even stay here, but I'm not going to reveal to you guys which apartment I did choose, so just know that this was an option this is apartment number two i really love the fact that there is a security guard person that um is maintaining the building this building is off of hollywood boulevard and i believe the rent was also going for like 25 50. The thing i really love about this apartment is the granite finishings on the kitchen and i really love the tub the closet was really cute, but quite small. And of course, every apartment that I was looking for, I needed a washer and dryer in unit. So it definitely has that amenity. Once again, though, I'm not sure why rent in LA is so high, but the balcony is not even a balcony on this particular apartment. This apartment does have a gym in the building and it also has a rooftop. I really love the views of this rooftop though. And I really like the fact that it is on Hollywood Boulevard and that I could easily just walk out my apartment and go down and go straight into the business. And we have made it to apartment three. Apartment three is located in Koreatown and the price of this apartment is 2400. What I like about this apartment is definitely the color scheme, the matching bathroom and kitchen um, back wall, I guess you could say. Um, the washer and dryer is brand new. I like the flooring of this apartment. Um, there is a balcony that faces the pool and there is a closet that is still quite small. So as you can see from the balcony, this apartment has a pool, this apartment has a gym, and this apartment has a rooftop with um, a barbecue station, just like the one on Hollywood Boulevard. I want you guys to drop in the comments and let me know which apartment you think I chose and continue to check out my YouTube and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.